Hi guys, welcome to part 3 of this uh, Thorn power supply and uh, I was at the transformer and the thing was going to cut off so I just put this on part 3 but anyway we got the, another tap here and we'll just take this off as well Let's see the voltage on this. So we got 18 volts. So what we have, let me just remove this and you can clearly see exactly what is going on. Alright, so what we got, we got the input voltage over here, uh, 0 to 220 or 0 to 240. So here is going to be 240, and then we got auxiliary out 1. 218 volts we got 218 volts and uh, at half an amp and we got another 218 volts over this side at half an amp and then we have a 30 volt on there at 4 amp and we have 210 at 5 amps okay my phone is about to die so what I need to do is I need to connect my charger before he died on me. There we go. Alright, so. So we, we do have quite a few tabs on this, but uh, the actual tab which is used for the actual power supply is, uh, is these. So they're feeding the 52 volts straight into the uh, transistors and then dropping them into transistor and the pass resistors so those suckers are going to get really hot if you say for instance you dial in I don't know 2 volts and draw in 40 amps and the uh, pass transistors had to drop you know a lot of uh, voltage and current through them so no wonder we got 12 of them running there but anyway let's get a rid of this Whoa. I'm scared my uh, my flooring, my uh, collapse, and I'll go end up in my living room if I bring all four of them up. So I think I would just uh, take him up in my room one by one and take him apart and then taking the stuff downstairs. I don't want things to go wrong. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what this little tiny capacitor is saying by itself. Probably used for the control circuitry somehow, somewhere. And it just screws off the screws. Ah, oh, I don't want to come out. Using these uh, shake proof. Uh, Yeah, Alright, so we got a sprog. Fifty five hundred, fifteen volts. Okay. I can go over there. We have a reefer, eight microfarad, four hundred and forty volts <laughs> capacitor over here. No, it's not showing. No, it's not coming into the camera. Come on, camera. You know you want to. Nah. Really good. Spin around. Ah, oh, now I know why. Because we zoomed in. Anyway, this capacitor is a main filter cap and it's a reefer. Let's just spin this around. Let go. Alright. Silly wiring. It's caught. The charging wire of my phone. So, anyway, we're into the front panel bit. But yeah, here we are. Focus, you silly camera. Reefer, MK capacitors. 
we go. Eight microfarad. Hmm. Rifa brand. Top brand for capacitors in the olden days. But yeah. Uh, let's see how we're going to take the front panel out. Okay, the front panel should be easy. I'm afraid I can't zoom out any further because, as I said, this is how it is. So what I'm going to do quickly is just... Take the screws out for the front panel. We've got these uh, dual dials for dialing the voltage and current and setting the over voltage and over current settings. front panel is out. Like so. Alright, now all we gotta do is let me just cut the wires and then I'm gonna bring it forward and then we can all see what is going on at the front panel. Ah oh man, this wire is just does want to be cut. All right, so let's get rid of this. We we'll get to that later. So here we got front panel. This side. Let's sort the camera out. There we go. So we got the supply. When you turn, obviously turn on, you get the voltage, uh, sorry, indication light for power being on. Then we got the remote, because this can be operated remotely. And then we got the uh, over voltage. We got the on off switch. And then we got a uh, little switch to either go into remote or uh, local. And then as I said, we got these uh, dials for uh, Setting the current, setting the voltage, and setting the over voltage protection. So obviously once you set this up and you lock it, then whatever voltage you dial here will not go over what you have set over here. So, if we go up to there, and then we have our uh, switches, indication, and we got our two uh, meters, panel meters there, and we've got a lot of silly wiring. So let's just get rid of all the wiring. We got the old lonely some relay sitting there by itself, and you can see how every wire has got this. Uh, what I do, I will show you in a minute when I bring it closer. This is typically uh, how, well I've, I've opened a lot of military stuff and this is how military gear is, uh, all the wires are usually done. If I just take this off, there we go. I need to zoom in this wire, if the stupid camera focuses. There we go, so you can see, we've got this little, uh, this little rubber thing that goes into the wires and everything is numbered and color coded so you got the it's like kind of resistance kind of wire so you got the pink red black and red and obviously the corresponding on the other side and uh, all they do they just look at their uh, wiring diagram and quickly wire everything out according to this so that's a very clever idea of uh, 
wiring things around. Usually this is done in the high-end or military stuff that I've taken apart. All of them being like this. So that is that. Oh man, it's getting really tired of this now. I didn't know this was going to be so uh, time-consuming. My camera is going to go in the flits again. The memory card is getting filled up because uh, I haven't transferred any of the videos into the computer yet because uh, I'm just filming them back to back because the camera just stops after half an hour for some strange reason. Never used to do that before, but it's doing it now. But yeah, um, so what I gotta do is I'm probably gonna stop this soon and then empty everything into my computer and then do another episode of this uh, where I will look at the actual driver circuitry that's behind this uh, mighty power supply. So this, this is weird what this is. It's just a resistor sitting by itself. Now we got this switch. Uh, if the camera focuses. There we go. Harland air packs. Made in UK. Max volts. Can't see. Amp. Can't see. <laughs> it's probably just uh, wiped off. But yeah. This is the front switch and then we got the rest of the stuff over there there we go anyway I'm gonna call it quits on this because as I said the memory card on my phone is full so I need to empty everything into the computer and then do a final part where we look at take this apart and then take the actual circuitry apart anyway thanks for watching if you like the videos please give a thumbs up and until the next episode, goodbye.